एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सीलेंस माय नेम इज निशा मसरूर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो अबाउट मेथोडोलॉजी ऑफ सिंथेसिस ऑफ जेलेटिव नैनोजेल नाउ आई एक्सपर्ट प्रोफेसर बोहिदार हु इज एसोसिएटेड विद नेशनल सेंटर एक्सीलेंस इन एक्रो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी टेरी डाइकन नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर इंडिया ही हैज थर्टी वन ईयर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग and research his area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology nano bio interface science soft matter science polymer physics and biophysics will explain you in detail about this topic so to get complete information watch full video without a skip methodology of synthesis of the gelatin nanogel the principle is same as we had seen earlier we will make a template so that we need a surfactant we need the polymer which is gelatin in our case we'll derive it and change it to a slightly different form but the base polymer is biopolymer gelatin only also then we'll use a cross linking agent first we dissolve all of those things in organic phase then do a emulsification is basically mixing them together to form this micro emulsion structure once the micro emulsion structure has been formed then we expose this to a ultraviolet radiation i will give you more details of this thing in the next slides you just this is a qualitative explanation of what is going to come up this is given to ultraviolet radiation and then these things get cross linked and then you have this nanogel ready for use in the purification step we take out the surfactant by dispersing it in organic phase and then it is extracted can freeze dry it and then can be stored for future use now going to the first thing is to make the precursor for this nanogel formation so this precursor happens to be methyl acrylic aldehyde combined with gelatin when we combine this polymer methyl acrylic and hydride with gelatin this gives the conjugated structure the possibility of cross linking through photo ionization okay only gelatin will not respond to this thing that's the reason ma or metha acrylic and hydride is attached to it so first thing is to make a precursor or the binding bind these two thing together so this is the step wise protocol for the synthesis of this gelatin ma polymer first the gelatin is taken is 10% concentration it phosphate buffer saline at 60 degrees celsius mix it make it homogeneous then this polymer ma methyl acrylic and hydride is added at a rate of 0.5 ml per m minute to this solution and then at a temperature of about 50 to 60 degree just mix them for an hour or so so in this process the lysine that is there in the, on the backbone of gelatin it reacts with ma and then forms a bond and that conjugates these two polymers together now you can allow this reaction to go on for a while to basically make this conjugate and you can stop this by adding these delvico phosphate buffer saline dpbs which is very common wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship Don't think too much because Nano Science and Technology Consortium, in short NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now at 40 degrees celsius by just over diluting it so the reaction stops automatically then you just dilate it like in something like 15 10 to 15 kilo dalton dialysis bag molecular weight cut off dialysis bag and then we remove the salts and the unreacted monomers in the standard way and lyophilize it store at 4 degree for further use so purification steps using the organic solvents and the dialysis or lyophilization at 4 degree at, as per the standard protocol so the two things here is first is you have to conjugate 
the methacrylic anhydride polymer to it. This is gelatin, which is done very easily by mixing these two together at certain concentration that is mentioned at 60 degree, allow the reaction to go on for an hour or so. Then to stop the reaction, dilute it heavily with DPBS and the reaction will stop. Next is this, you do a dialysis experiment using a dialysis membrane of molecular weight cutoff value of 10 to 15 kilo daltons. Okay, next is removal of salts and non-reacted monomers, surfactants, all this that, and then you lyophilize it at 4 degree and then store it for future use. Okay, now that was the precursor that we made now. Now we have to make the nanogel from there. So the, again the same thing, we are going to use this microemulsion method, water and oil, the organic phase is going to be in large amount and the water is going to be small amount. So what is done is, this polymer that we have made here, gelatin AMA is mixed with buffer at pH 7. Then we put a photo ionizer here with a low concentration, typically about half a percent photo initiator to capture the ultraviolet light from the radiation. So mix it at 60 degree and let the entire thing become transparent. So then this aqueous solution is added to the organic phase which is an octane. The surfactants are span 80 and twin 80. These are standard surfactants in the chemistry lab. So these three things together you have the liquid phase here which containing gel MA precursor photo initiator. Organic phase is an octane. Surfactant is span 80 twin 80. When these things are mixed together and then homogenized over 5 to 10 minutes, they will form those beautiful microemulsion and that your gelatin MA and photo initiator are trapped inside the nano reactor. Okay, then you leave it for overnight for the system to remain, come to equilibrium. Okay, so this stage, once the sample is ready for for the replication, we can also look at how to load the drug and also the fluorescence tag to it so that you can utilize and you can track the drug delivery system. So FITC is a very well known fluor fluorophore. It gives very nice fluorescence signal with a large quantum yield value. So it's very bright fluorescence emission. So now to bind the gel MA precursor to FITC, we take the mediation of bovine serum albumin, which is a protein. PSA FITC is available in the market. So these are available as a conjugate, FITC BSA. That is added to the gel MA dispersion that we have already prepared at certain concentration in each of the hydrogel samples. Okay, so then you mix the organic phase containing the surfactant mix mixture and other components in it, homogenize it in a homogenizer, ultrasonic processor, and then you have a stable dispersion ready for gelation. Expose it to ultraviolet light for about 30 minutes. You don't need very high level of radiation. Typically 10 to 15 watt of UV radiation will do the job of cross-linking. So then you have FITC loaded nanogel ready for use and we can also make the blank nanogels without the drug by just not adding any drug to the system or which is the control or by addition of a drug we can make it the sample. So the now next case is basically the separation and purification of this nanogel. I hope you like this video. Further, I would like to give you an important information that Nano Science and Technology Consortium organized the nanotechnology workshops on very interesting topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSTC in which you can also be a part of. Mentorship, patent commercialization, joint product development, research projects, consultancy services, nanomaterials for your research projects, training programs or customized training programs, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. 
we will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel on Star and also hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.